Thank you, Alon. So as a theme, many of us are currently in the process of a migration and building out increasingly distributed systems every day. Your applications are not only running the code that you wrote, but include services from multiple development teams and even third parties. And on top of that, your infrastructure is spread out over multiple cloud platforms, managed services, lambdas, and databases. Uh, and it's difficult to see the thousand foot view of where um, all of that data is going. So how do you understand the dependencies between your components? Historically, you've probably SSH'd into a host and run that top, looked at raw bandwidth and packet counts. Uh, this really only shows you one host at a time. In more recent distributed architecture, cloud services do provide network bandwidth data, but it's difficult and manual to tie it back into the services and relevant application tags. Datadog network performance monitoring provides visibility across any of your tags, like high-level tags such as availability zones and services, all the way down to the container and even process levels. This allows you to aggregate your network metrics between any two types of objects across your infrastructure and applications, and whether or not this is hosted on-prem or in the cloud. We launched network performance monitoring a few months ago, and we've been really pleased to hear about how it has been integrated into your workflows. Network performance monitoring has been great for cost reduction, allowing you to identify costly and inefficient um, long distance connections. Uh, dependency mapping for things like migrating um, from on-prem to in the cloud or into uh, a new um, Lambda architecture. Um, and troubleshooting, allowing you to go from viewing the symptom to viewing the root cause. A huge factor in reducing your network costs hinges on reducing your cross-availability zone traffic. So luckily, network flows can be aggregated across any tag. And suppose you are migrating towards a micro uh, multi-cloud strategy. Uh, Cross-region traffic can be both pricey uh, and preventable. By viewing your network traffic by zone, you can see here that there are multiple zones and multiple cloud providers sending traffic to each other. By selecting something like US East 1D as the source, uh, and destination as 1B, and grouping for service uh, by service for each. We found that the data store, web store Mongo, and web store are talking across AZs. And you might consider deploying your web services so that uh, their requests stay local. So what about troubleshooting? <laughs> Suppose a team uh, that you're working with is uh, running a web service that is seeing unavailability, and you only have a limited SLO budget left. <laughs> Maybe it's only one hour. Uh, you, you might want to start by looking at the host map directly. You can see that the web server has a high number of retransmits, which indicates that it might be a network connection problem. We do some digging and find that a problem is specifically on the well-known Kafka port 9092. Uh, and we can see that our bytes have dropped to zero, but our retransmits have started to spike. And when we compare this against the event stream, we see that this happened at the exact same time as the new Kafka version was unsuccessfully deployed. So from here, we know that the new deployment was the cause, and we need to do a rollback to fix the change. And so now we have a way for the ops team to fix the, fix the issue and preserve the SLO budget. Uh, so this year, we've announced a suite of new tools to, that will help you build context and connections as you try and understand your applications um, and infrastructure. So if you have any additional questions, come talk to us this afternoon. We can give you more details here. Thank you.